depending on the area that we've used the journal for the four, uh, there are a number of things that you can notice within the first 24 hours and occasionally a couple of days after your treatment. If we're treating simple lines or furrows in between the eyebrows, you can expect an area of slight redness where we've actually um, used the filler product. This will go within the first 24 hours and on occasion there is sort of an area of slight bruising um, but it's quite uncommon in areas that are very superficially filled. If we're using fillers around the nose to mouth area or around the lips, there's a larger blood supply there, so bruising can become more common in that area. However, um, the bruising is normally very slight. For the lip treatment, it can be slightly more pronounced, but will tend to reduce so with the aftercare advice that we offer you, putting localised ice packs on the area after the treatment, and you can also cover up the areas if you want to go to work the next day. For the lip treatments, however, um, it's best to sort of plan these at a time where you will have at least one to two days in case there is any more pronounced bruising. Regardless of the fact, however, most of the treatments you can go to work the same day in the afternoon or 24 hours later.